Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 20 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm back at the store. Field 13 has been planted with poplars. If we have a quick look there, you can see that's now got the poplar colour. The entire field's been done and I've got a pallet left over here with about 600 litres, I think it is, 500 and something. Not a huge amount, but that's what's left. So if I want to do poplars anywhere else at some point, I don't think I will. But anyway, I've got a couple of contracts now. I need to turn my attention to hay. Um, I know I've done hay bales before. And I said I wouldn't you know, necessarily show you me doing it. But here's the thing. For Cody's contract, he needs 30 bales. I've got a contract for, and I will find it, Cunningham Farm. I want 25 hay bales. And then I've got a contract which is literally, <clears throat> I came in a while ago, but it's an urgent one in so much as, I'll just read it out to you. Uh, so this is a message that was left on the answering machine. This is Daniel Collins of the Hampshire Constabulary. We have a small emergency. A lorry carrying sheep was involved in an accident on the Winchester Road near Lower Upham, which is just down the road. Some folks at the Alma Inn said that uh, we may be able to help. A local farmer near the area is able to keep the sheep in an enclosed field until replacement transport can be arranged, but they've got nothing to feed them. If it's at all possible, could I deliver 10 to 12 bales of hay to Thistle Ridge Farm off the Portsmouth Road? I'll be compensated £10,000. That's not bad. OK, fantastic. So, like I say, that's... So I've got a few bales to do. I've got to do 30 for Cody... I've got to do 25 for Cunningham Farms, and I've got to do 12 for the Hampshire Police. But, in order to do that, I was going to lease the Chrome Big M. And then I got, um, I had a contract given to me a while ago, which I, to be honest with you, I'd completely forgotten about. And I, I'm sorry about that. Um, this is from Randy at Cadet. It used to be Cadet Mowing on Lone Oak Farm. It was Cadet Mowing, and I had contracts out of him. It's now Cadet Landscaping. I did mention them in, in the earlier episodes. Um... They've got a Chrome Big M because they were uh, cadets mowing that I can borrow, but there's a job they need me to do first. So I'm going to do that job. Um, and also for Chad, I've got a job here, which is roadside maintenance. It all kind of ties in. Um, I'm on the local commissioner board. We're looking for someone to cut the high grass and maintain along the roadsides of the main road. As payment, we have a mower. It says say a fent loading wagon. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment to get the job done. Um, yeah, we can work out any details needed. I may need to file some special permits, etc. But that's all been taken care of. So, in order then, <laughs> I'm going to cut the verges first. Actually, no, I'm not going to do the verges first. What I'm going to do, the contract for cadet landscaping is an interesting one. And it involves some landscaping. It involves the Lord of the Manor. Now, we know the Lord of the Manor has got a swimming pool. And the Lord of the Manor, being a classy dude, a classy chap, wants some palm trees around his pool. So that's what I've got to do. Um, I've got to put some palm trees around the Lord of the Manor's pool. We've got to install them, plant them. And in exchange for that, we get to, where am I going? Wrong direction entirely. We get the use of Cadet Landscaping's Chrome Big M. Here's the pool. Can, oh, we can place them. <laughs> okay, right. Well, let's put one there. We want it kind of facing in towards the pool, don't we? Overlooking the pool. Look at that. That's some quality. You know, that's top notch, isn't it? If you want to impress the neighbours, get some palm trees put in. Put that one that way. Let's just take another one there. Let's have that one facing in as well. In over the pool. That'll look really classy. <laughs> I don't think I can put one this side though, because that's on the patio. Oh, that's a pity. What about here? Get another one there. Maybe. Let's turn that one in a bit. There we go. I don't want to take up that part of the lawn. Let's put one over here just to give it a good kind of a holiday vibe. There we go. So the palm trees have been installed. 
on behalf of Cadet Landscaping, which means I've now got access to their Chrome Big M. I can use that. That was the deal. Next job, I need to mow the verges. And again, I'm hoping this is going to work. What I'm going to do is put on beacon, put on hazards. Now I've also put knock-ins on the. Um, let's get lights on too. I've put knock-ins on the Deutzvar because the mitres, the wide mitres, stick out quite a long way, and I need to try and get as close into the edges as I can with this because I'm going to get people tooting at me and getting angry that much. I do know. Now I'm assuming it's going to let me cut this. So let's turn it on. Put it down. It does. <laughs> Actually, what we'll do, let's whack the cruise control down, shall we? Let's do that. Cruise control on. <laughs> this is such a clever idea. Thank you, Chad. Now I can come along for this later on with a loading wagon or whatever I need to, but. We're going to hit a few bumps here and there, I would imagine. <clears throat> like I say, with the, with the wide Mitus tyres on, which looks fantastic on the Deutsch Fire, and I absolutely think are amazing. Um, unfortunately, I would be hitting stuff and wouldn't be able to get as close into the hedges and stuff as I need to go, so don't want to be, there you go, blocking other road users. Now there is some grass on the road, which means if I can keep this side of the white line, I should be fine. If I'm going to go around trees and stuff, it becomes a bit of an issue, but like I say, I can always come and collect that later. I'll get around the tree. Oh, that was close on the wind mirror. I don't know why, it, this is incredibly satisfying. It's a peculiar thing, isn't it? I love the fact it's working, and it's such a clever idea. Oh, curb. Stop there. Where's that up? Barris will be happy, keeping it all clear right around the top of the, uh, the stables as well. Oh, I love that, the shadow of the blade spinning. Just noticed that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, push control back on. I'm going to knock that down a notch and go up four, I think. Just give me a little bit more control. Right, so I'm going to continue this. 
and we'll do up this side until we get towards the end turn around go back down the other side and then hopefully once that's done we'll be able to sort out borrowing the chrome big m we'll get onto field 19 get some of this hay sorted out because once that contract's done for cody it means i can get some more cows also these are jobs i can be doing while i'm waiting for the cotton to grow Happy. All right. Close that. Turn it off. <clears throat> That's both sides of the road done. Happy with that. Now this mower's going to go back to cadet landscaping. While we're there, we can pick up the chrome again. Done the two jobs. One for Chad. No, I'm going to come along here with the loading wagon, I think, and collect some of this stuff up. <coughs> because some of it has gone on the road, and I'll probably get in trouble or get fined or something by the council for, you know, because it could cause a problem. Who knows, but it's just along here. I'm sure it's along here somewhere. Cadet Landscaping's UK headquarters. <laughs> it's along here somewhere. Is it Thompson Lane? Just by Thompson Lane. Here we go. There we go. So, we pop that down there. Love that. And detach. That's a cool mower, that. I know it's not very big, I and mean, you wouldn't be using it for doing like massive fields and stuff like that. But, you know, for doing small stuff around the yard or gardens and, you know, that kind of thing. Not too shabby, right. Let's turn that off. Turn that off. Lights off. Engine off. So what I'll do when I've finished using this, I'll come back with it, put it, park it back here, and I can pick up my tractor. So, Chrome Big M. Now, here's the thing with this. I'm sure I leased one before, didn't I? Did I? No, I used the normal mowers before, didn't I? The front and side. So this is the first time using this on this map. I used one quite a lot on um, Felsbrun, wasn't it? I think it was Felsbrun. Going. going away. So that's something that still baffles me. I don't know why. If you look at the road and look at the uh, indicator, you get that glow from the indicator. Why don't we get the beacon glow? Now people say, oh, it's scripts, it's scripts, but it works on the indicators, so why won't it work on on beacons? I'm a bit baffled. Anyway, don't need to indicate anymore. Uh, right, we're going to go to the store because I'm going to lease a tether because we're going to make hat, make make hiai. We're going to make some hiai. Um and I'm going to try and pull. Um, yeah, it should work. We have got a tether. It's going to be quite a big tether though. Um, pull the tether behind it, not the three-point link one, but I'm sure we have got the larger ones. The profi, but it's quite big. Um, so we can actually mow and make hay at the same time, I think, is what we'll do. 
swinging there. Okay, right, so, don't know why I got out to do this. Didn't need to. Tedder, where are we? Tedders. Right, that's a three-point link, that's a three-point link. That's not. But that is 13 metres wide. Now, if I was doing a normal drop in the grass... See, I'm racking my brains now, thinking, have I done this before on this map? Honestly, can't remember. It doesn't matter, even if I have. Right, let's lease it. Uh, one three. That's not too bad, because what I'm hoping is, with swath on, and then Ted. Although the swath would be quite wide, because the tether will spread it a little bit, it's still going to be easier than having, than having to go over and windrow everything again. I think. In my head, it makes sense. <laughs> Whether or not it's going to work in real life. Oh, yeah. I say real life. Oh, God, that's terrible, isn't it? Uh, right, hook up. So, let's get this over to field 19 and get cracking. Now, we've got quite a few barrels to do, then, haven't we? So, we've got 30, 25 for Cunningham. That's 55. 12 for Hampshire Police. 65, 67. We'll get 67 hay bales out of that field, no problem at all. A bit hazy today, not as sunny a day as we've had. It's been interesting actually, one of the comments that was left, um, and my mind's gone blank again, I do that all the time, um, to say that button 23 on my Satec side panel, sorry Logitech side panel, um, could be, someone said they think it speeds up the wipers or slows them down. You know what, I've been playing this since November. On various different maps I haven't had rain yet, I know a lot of people are saying they haven't had any, then when they do get it, they have days of it. Some people said they haven't had any. I haven't had any rain on any of the maps I've played. Cloudy days and stuff like that, but no rain. It's a bit odd. Anyway, we're going to get this over to field um, 19. We'll get it set up and we'll get going. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit tricky because I don't want to do the entire field. So I don't need that much hay. Um, but what I think we'll do... Hmm. Now, uh, this is the other thing as well. Let me just open this in the side menu. A lot of people have asked how... I haven't got it on the right one. Let's get into that. Right. Um, that they can't get... It's at the moment it says at the bottom, select work mode, widespreading, and they can't get that to change. You have to open up the mower first. You have to unfold it. Once you've unfolded the mower, it will then give you the option to change the actual work mode. But you, it needs to be unfolded first. So if I now do R1, and it says toggle work mode, if I press L3, I can go widespreading, swath dropping, left swath, right swath. So I'm going to go swath dropping. Now I could do widespreading, because I've got the tether behind me, and that means I've then got to come along windrow after it. So what I'm going to do is try swath dropping. Like I say, right, I don't need that on anymore, I don't think. It should be right. Turn that on. No, hang on. Drop it down. Just not working. Well, this not mow because I've got that on the back. No, surely not. So with that tether on the back, it won't let me mow. That can't be right. Okay. Let's open this up first, then. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's really peculiar. Turn that on. Put that down. Swap to that. Now it will work. What? So I have to have the tether open. Right, so this now should swath drop. And the tether now should... Now, like I say, it's going to make it a little bit wider than I'd like it, but it's still a swath. It's certainly better than if it did the full width. Like I say, not brilliant, but it'll work, uh, he says. As long as I'm hitting trees. That is the only problem with the tether being wider than the mower's 
I can't get as close into the verge as I'd like to be, but it is kind of working. At the end of the day, I'm going to get my hay. That is, it's going to be far quicker doing it this way. So let's get cruise control on. And away we go, right. It's a little bit narrower than if I just did a normal drop. Like so I don't know how much I need to get the 67 bales, was that I said? So what we'll do, we'll go around and I'll do the, um, I'll do all the way around the perimeter, then it might be a not a bad idea to go and grab the baler, bail what I've done, see what we're at and then go from there I think. We'll try that and see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you Cadet Landscaping for the mower, that's very handy. You will get it back as soon as I'm done. I'm gonna hit third. If I can get this done within in the hour, I'm not going to have to pay an hourly leasing cost for the tether, so that's good too. It is working. Right, I'm going to turn in a little bit tighter, so tighter, a little bit there, rather than going right into that corner, because that can be a bit of a nightmare. That corner. That's interesting, though, having to have the tether open before the mower would turn on. I panicked then, I thought surely this idea will work. Oh, it's got lights on, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And hopefully by the time this is done, I can get the bales off to the police, the bales off to Cunningham Farms, the bales off to Cody, which means we'll get 18 cows from Cody as part of the contract, or as part of, as the contract for him. Um, and then hopefully, it won't be too much longer in the day before the first of the cotton fields will be ready, in theory. I still do need to go and get the um, the logs from the um, forest, pick those up for Ray the Canadian, and I can start on the next logging contract I've got. Oh, like I said, I've got sunflower contract to do, contract, I've got a couple of those to do. Chris, uh, farm dog and Bob and Sid need some sunflower so they can do their uh, their dog biscuit idea. And meanwhile the horses are all being tended to. I, I, I did exercise them all, they're all up to 100% for today. Oh, well, that's the point. Doing this, if I do a couple of extra bales, um, I can take some hay bales over to Barris's stables because I think the horses over there do need some uh, they do need hay. I do have a couple of bales, three I think three bales left uh, over by the sheep. But if I can take a stack over maybe that way his horses will be fine. I don't probably don't need too many actually. Let's try to hit the wall. This is the wall from my farmhouse, I don't really want to damage it, do I? Right, so once we've been around once... It will mean going around this strip a couple of times with the baler, because obviously the width of the baler pickup isn't the size of this, but... That should be okay. Horses are doing fine here. And let's stop that. Okay, so turn it off. Lift it. Fold it. Go to the back one. Lift it. Turn it off. Fold it. Lights off. Engine off. Let's go and get a mower. Uh, oh, a mower. 
<laughs> the baler the baler as well is still on loan from bearded farms had to think then became almost kind of long term I was thinking of actually landscaping a little bit here because we've got this gap here that I didn't notice or have many episodes maybe putting a little bit kind of off here to make it look like a proper entrance I think I might have to do that because I keep kind of going in and out of here but yeah I'll do that right go and grab a tractor go and grab the baler probably use the Massey I think Now here's a weird thing. I've got this baler from Bearded Farms, which is fine actually. I need to open that up. Uh, let's go with that one. Um, and I had the Aduranti Auto Load trailer that I bought that cost me 10 grand. It's gone. Completely vanished. Um, I did the update on the mod. But it's disappeared. I don't understand. Don't understand why. Uh, now it's lower pickup. Is that that unfolds it? There we go. Lower pickup. Turn on the baler. Cruise control on. And away we go. So I say we're going up this side of it first because the pickup's not that wide. So it'll be a couple of runs around each strip, but we will get it done. And it's got to be quicker and easier doing it this way than it would be to do this. Oh, I've missed some. Um, then have to mow it, then ted it, then windrow it, then come back again. It is technically a windrow, although a wide one. Let's get the cruise control back on. Might roll it back a little bit. So. So I keep clicking my finger on it every time I get down to it. There we go. Right. Bit more controllable. Bit more realistic as well, I guess. So, second bale. Okay, it's working anyway. Bale one. <laughs> so in this session I'm going to need, well, I said 67, but if I'm going to do a couple to take over to Barris's, if I find make it 70, this should be fine. I'll just click off the cruise control a second. If I go into uh, what menu do I want? That menu there. And I go across one. Created bales this session. One. There. 787 bales done in total <laughs> so far on this Let's Play. Wow. Okay. So one. We need 70. It's going to take a little while. Cruise control back on. Yeah, so I might have to... Re it's really annoying. I don't understand why just doing the update on the Adjuranti... Now, I'm I'm not misremembering here, am I? I didn't sell it, did I? Why would I have sold it? It worked perfectly for what I was doing. I've checked through my menu. It's not here, so it's not like I've left it somewhere around the farm and can't remember where I put it, which would be like me. You know, that's the kind of thing I would do. But I just can't... I can't work it out. I don't know where it's gone. It's weird, I've always kind of bailed at whatever speed it allows you to bail at, so you might be banging along at 11, 12 miles an hour. But, I don't suppose you, you wouldn't really be going that speed in real life, would you? There are probably some vehicles and some combinations that would allow you to, but this is far more sedate and easy to control, especially on the turns. Let me know if you work on a farm, if you do bailing for a living. Not for a living, but if you do do bailing at some point during the year, what speed do you normally run at while you're bailing? I know it will, it will depend on the baler and the tractor you're using and 
all that kind of thing, but just curious. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to carry on until I get 70 bales. And I'll see you, hopefully, when I've done that. That at least is the plan. No plan survives contact with Mr. Silly P. That much we do know. So after clearing that one strip round that I've done, we're up to about 30, 31 bales. So we're just under halfway. So if I do another strip round, that's going to put me probably at around 60 odd. Obviously, it's going to be less distance the first, as I start going in, uh, going round. Um, what I've also decided as I've been going round with the baler, I think I'll, when I finish with this on this particular job, I'm going to return the baler to Bearded Farms, and I think I'm going to buy the round baler wrapper because I do have a contract for 200 silage bales. And that will bale wrap. And because I've got access now to the Chrome Big M from Cadet Landscaping, that can make that whole process a lot easier, which means I could also sell, if I wanted to, the mowers that we own. It's just an idea. I'm just racking my brains now thinking. Let's have a look. 76,000, so that's not too bad. I bought that for 54 to wrap square bales. But in all honesty... See, that baler wrapper, that will, if you do grass bales, it will bale and wrap them. If you do straw bales or hay bales, it doesn't wrap them. So it will still do normal bales. So it's a kind of all-purpose. So I think I might do that, you know. It's an option. Anyway, right, so I'm going to carry on then. Uh, like I said, I'll see you in a little bit. But uh, let's open that out. Open that out. Come back to that. Turn it on. Drop it down. Go to that. Turn it on. Drop it down. And we're good to go. Okay, I've been busy. Um, I've made a mistake. Only a small one, but I have made a mistake. Right, 12 bales on the trailer here. That's for Hampshire Constabulary. They've got to go to Thistle Ridge Farm, which I'm going to be delivering in a moment. They offer 10,000. That's way too much. All I'll get for those is what the value of a bale is worth. That's what's going to happen there. Um, spare, I had four bales. I did 71, not 70. Those four are going to be going over to Barris's stables. Um, because if we look in here, 
at the animals if we go down to these ones here daily riding they're going to, need to be done today but for yesterday they were done uh, if we go across yeah oats are a, bit, a bit low i need to put some more oats over there but hay they're down to 1936 liters so they're going to need some hay so they're going to be going over to barris's horse stables well horse stables yeah this one i'm going to come back to in a second this is cody's contract now if you remember we did 10 straw bales they came off a of field 15 i think from the last oat harvest two it runner containers of silage from our silage pit 90,000 litres and 30 hay bales 24 in that stack and six there when they get shipped that means he's going to send us 18 cows that's cody's contract this one was for cunningham farms in missouri and i must have misread the contract because what i do generally speaking is i'll read the contract and then when i put it into the folder i give each contract a name and i put cunningham farms 25 hay bales when i just went in and read the contract they wanted 35 hay bales so there's 25 here for cunningham farms in missouri i'm gonna to need to do 10 more but i'll do those off screen that's not a problem so that's a few contracts knocked off straight away we did the contract for chad we did a contract for uh cadet landscaping oh that's a point actually on the way past we'll take this um yeah we'll take this now i think the adjuranti pack sorry had an update and i haven't had any problems with the bells now you, you unload them and they unload onto the trailer then strap them before the update um they will go all over the place i haven't had a problem since that so i've strapped them down we'll see how we go and these are going to be going to this ridge farm so we'll head off with those I've taken both of our mowers over to the store and the square baler have gone over. The square baler will go back to Bearded Farms and the two mowers we're going to sell and then we're going to buy the uh, round baler wrapper. Oh yeah, you can see them already, look. Wow, okay, let's have a look. We didn't really have a look close up, but I'm sure they won't mind us having a little peek. That <laughs> looks really cool. Oh dear. It's a bit ostentatious, isn't it? But I like it. It's just, I like the fact you can rotate them so you've got that kind of lean so it kind of hangs over the over the pool anyway. But anyway, that worked out quite well. So that's the palm trees. So Cadet Landscaping's job was done. And then three more contracts, Cunningham Farms. Um, Hertfordshire. Uh, Hertfordshire. Hampshire Constabulary and um, and Cody's contract so what's that five five in one episode that's got to be some kind of record isn't it this ridge farm is down towards here along Portsmouth Road so I will head off and take those now and I'll see you back at the store I think in a minute that's probably the best bet I think I'll put beacons on just because we've got a load of that's too precarious. I can't see any cars coming. Oh, there's one just off in the distance. And at some point off screen, I'll come along and I'll collect all the grass. You can see where I've cut all along the verge here. So these will go off to this ridge. Excellent. Okay, that's those dropped off. We got paid just over what six thousand? That's not bad. I know they offered ten, but that was a little bit over the top. So we will go back over to the main farm. Cody stuff will all get sent off and shipped. I'll need to do another ten bales to sort out Cunningham Farms because that was a bit of an error on my part. I managed to do that, but anyway, not to worry. They will go. They will be shipped. <laughs> So, uh, right, that's what I'll go back to Bearded Farms. These are going to be... something repair? One whole pound. Right, sell that 13,000. And then sell that for 15,000. That's not bad. That's a big chunk towards... Um... Nice, okay. 15, so... 
Now we want uh, Bailing Technology. And let's pick up the FBP3135. Oh, that reminds me. If I'm going to be Bailing Wrapping with that, I can sell... See, I did say when I bought the Square Wrapper that I didn't know if that was going to be a good investment or not. And in all honesty, it probably wasn't. But with all those three combined, that'll actually cover the cost pretty much of buying this. Uh, foil colour, what should we put it on? Let's go with... Just leave it on white. No, I'm going to go black. Oh, hang on, no. Because if I end up doing any in the dark, <laughs> they're going to be almost impossible to see. Let's stick with white. Okay, and bye. Right. Cool. So that will go back to Bearded Farms. That's our new baler. Baler wrapper, which does mean that I need to take that back to the farm and pick up the square bale wrapper that we've got. And that needs to be sold. So, okay. All change. Right, so with all this mayhem, We've come to the end of another episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>